Today's episode is all about slow food, what it is and how it's been embraced by Colorado's Boulder Valley. Boulder County is one of Colorado's most progressive places to live. The people who live here love the outdoors, good times, and good food. And increasingly, they want their food to be as fresh as possible, coming from local farmers and ranchers. It was just picked this morning. It's really good. This is the essence of the slow food movement. But what is slow food? Slow food? Um, I know what I don't think of, which is fast food. Like maybe like slow service food, where you like sit at a restaurant way too long and <laughs> it never comes. Like pineapple. Like the opposite of fast It takes food. forever to cut. <laughs> okay. So well, it's what were slow. You saying, like, the opposite of fast food? Yeah, like home cooked meals. <laughs> is there a correct answer? According to Slow Food USA, slow food is food that is good, clean, and fair. But what does that mean? Hmm. Anything that tastes good for you but might not be the best for your body, like McDonald's, if you like McDonald's. Or like maybe like high class food, like Flagstaff food. Food that tastes good and healthy. I was going to say healthy. Good food should be tasty, seasonal, local, fresh, and wholesome. Um, I cook everything from scratch. I eat out maybe once a month. And so I prepare all my food and I eat it with the season. So this time of year when everything's in season, I eat mostly raw food. But then as we get into the colder months, then I cook everything. So in oriental medicine, as an acupuncturist, we're always looking for balance. Clean food? Maybe organic, because it's grown naturally and it doesn't have like those chemicals which make it unclean. Sanitized. The food that you can eat without having to rinse off before. Clean food should be produced in ways that preserve biodiversity, sustain the environment, and ensure animal welfare without harm to human health. Fair food. Um, food that you would get at a fair. Like carnival food? No. Fair food should be affordable by all, while respecting the dignity of labor from field to fork. During the summertime, it's always animals first, and then we head out to the field, and then we're weeding for an entire day. And if it's not weeding day, it's harvesting day. And so then it's usually an entire day of certain tasks. The days are just long and hard of just doing it the old-fashioned way, you know, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, it's, it comes out in the food. Mm -hmm. In Boulder, there are many options for finding local, fresh, clean food. You'll often spot farm stands run by local farmers, where delicious seasonal products can be purchased. Some families buy shares in local farms and in return receive fresh produce every week or so. This is called Community Supported Agriculture, or CSA. The Boulder County Farmers Markets are a popular option from April through November. This market is 27 years old. We are a producer-only market, which is unique now because a lot of farmers markets will have um, farms or vendors that resell products maybe grown in California maybe other parts of Colorado that they don't grow specifically. So the unique thing about our producer-only markets is that you're, really, you're buying from the source. So these people here know their product better than anyone else in the world, and they'll be able to talk to you about their growing practices, any gardening tips that you might have for growing them at home, um, and you can really build a re really unique relationship with the growers of your food here. Supermarkets such as Whole Foods are another great option for fresh produce and meats. Part of our values is eating whole foods, taking the time if you can to cook and to learn more about um, you know, where your food's coming from and what it does to not only your community, your animal community, and also your body. Um, and yeah, like it's, it's an important um, value that we abide by and, and I think slow food movement also does too. For the ultimate in local food, some families grow their own. Backyard gardens are fun, easy, and affordable to maintain. 
and during cold winter months you can even have an indoor garden. But the best part about buying local food is eating it, whether at home or in a restaurant that specializes in slow food. Ready to join the slow food movement? Slow Food International has chapters in over 150 countries. Membership is a great way to connect with your local food culture and community.